I'm surprised. I'm dumb. You are reading measurements of a source of electromagnetic radiation that has 3.26 times 10 to the negative 19 joules of energy. So I have energy is 3.26 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Hopefully you pulled that piece of information. Determine what type of electromagnetic radiation this is. State whether electromagnetic radiation is dangerous. Did that sound like a lady yelling because of a mouse? Yeah. Mr. Hall, please, I'll get him. Okay. I thought there was a mouse or something. Somebody was like screaming away murder. Can you help us? Yeah. What? Hey, talk together in your groups. Make sure you got the answer. Six Yeah, it's easy because this is for. Well, okay. You know the number you divided the 2.5? What do you mean? What do you mean? I know the. Okay. Right here. You've got this number for the something. And then you've got this number because you divided this. What, what's, what goes with this? 4.9 to something. Okay, look. You have, I did this first, right? I did. What did you get after? I got, I got something you did. But, Here. how did you do it if you didn't do it this way? Well, I can't read that. I don't know what that okay, means. Okay, this, this starts out as um, energy in joules, which is this. And then it's this formula right here. E equals. Right, yeah. okay, so you subbed in. Yeah, and then I divided and I got this. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, 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 that looks familiar. Okay, and then I plugged that in there. Right, and then now I'm there. I put this in this times, or this is equal to this times. Right 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 but I know I know how to divide. But what go? What is that? Like yeah, I know. How to oh, what unit is it? Yeah, unit. Um, huh. I think it's like it's got yeah, to be seconds. seconds. Yeah. 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 It has so to be seconds. seconds. Yeah. But like, why is it seconds? Yeah. It's frequency seconds. No. What? Yeah. Like, I know it has to be. Yeah, like, I don't know why. I have yeah. So, what? I don't know. Okay, okay. Stupid. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yes. Now, who was acting stupid over there? <laughs> All right, anyway, sorry about that. So we have a certain amount of energy. Now we're trying to determine the type of electromagnetic radiation and whether electromagnetic radiation is dangerous or harmful to humans. If it's visible light, we have to state the color. So, here comes the fun part. I'm starting with energy. How am I going to determine what type of electromagnetic radiation I have? What am I going to use? Divide by Planck's constant. Energy, the energy formula, because you're starting with energy. I'm going to start with energy, but why am I starting with energy? What am I trying to find? The I want to find the wavelength. Yeah, you got to get the sassy U, though, first. For me to be able to determine what type of electromagnetic radiation this is, I have to have the wavelength of it. So, in this case, to find the wavelength, I first have to use the energy equation, which is energy equals Planck's constant times nu, which is frequency. You get frequency by itself. Why am I getting this by itself? Because they're joined together, and that's what combines the two equations together, because the speed of light equals Wavelength times frequency. Frequency is the same between both of them, so we have to find frequency in order to plug it into the other. Divide by Planck's so, constant. Frequency is equal to energy divided by Planck's constant. <gasps> I said that. Oh which is equal to 3.26 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. 6.626 times 10 to the negative. Divide by 6 point stitch times 10. Negative 34 joule seconds. Joules cancel. I feel so powerful right now. You punch that in a calculator. I did that. Wow. Very good. Wow. I did that, guys. You didn't get four point nine two zero zero times ten to the fourteenth hertz. How many of you got to there? No, I got the number. Right okay. I got the number of unit we don't talk about. That's okay. 
Here's the thing is understanding the formulas and how the formulas relate. What is that number called? Blake's constant. Here's how they relate together. So if I have energy and I want to find wavelength, I first have to find frequency. This is kind of like, remember the mole conversions? We went through mole. You practically should look say this is frequency conversions. You'll be using, finding, you're going through frequency. We're done. Yeah. Now, we're not done. Wait, wait, wait. What's, the, what's that funny looking Z? That's, that's a Z. I, it's a Z. No. <laughs> Why you have a line through it? So people don't think it's a 2? Okay, I'm, I'm okay with that. It's I like that slide. Glad to know he has your so approval. Can you ask me that crazy bass yeah. boost? Yeah. Like that? Yeah. Happy, happy for that. I didn't know I needed it. <laughs> All right, speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. We're trying to find wavelength. Yeah. All right, so to find this, we have to get wavelength by itself, so the speed of light divided by frequency, uh, which is equal to 2.98. Was this boring you? Times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Divide by the frequency we just saw for. 4.9200 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Holy moly, Mr. Rock, you want? It's very fast. Hertz and seconds cancel out. How do we? Is that? Oh, the answer? Okay. Six point Listen, I'm sorry that times ten times ten negative seven. Four, like Tanner Slota. That's that's not my that's not my middle name actually. That's just my name. Six point four five. Six eight six point six zero. Huh? Five. Around. It's gonna be six nine times ten negative seven meters. I, lost I did that. Nine. I really got that. I did not get that. Oh, you guys. But I was close. I have the same numbers. Right. Right. You're supposed. To pick. It's probably because you typed in calculator wrong. I'm so proud of that. I got there. I got the right unit. Whenever I figure out what I'm doing, I'm going to be on stop. All right, now look at the electromagnetic spectrum. Because here comes the fun part. Remember. What unit do I have right now? I have meters. Since I have meters, I'm going to start here at the top. Now remember, we're looking for, we are at 6.0569 times 10 to the negative 7. So when I'm coming through here, when I see this negative 7, that does not mean that's where that's at. Remember what that stands for. So cool. This right here is 1.0 times 10 mm -hmm. to the negative 7 meters. That's what that point's equal to. So we have times 10 to the negative 7 from here all the way to right here at this point when it turns to negative 6. So our number tells us we're following... Somewhere in this area. It's too shady to be able to tell in meters. What if it's indigo? So what I can look at, I know I either have ultraviolet or I have visible light. But look at the visible light spectrum. What's the visible light spectrum in unit wise? Um, so let's do a conversion. Get this into nanometers. I got you. And we'll compare there. So I looked at the nanometers of this. So 6.0569 times 10 to the something or another. Meters is the base unit. That's zero minus nano. <coughs> What's the exponential value for nano? Negative nine. Uh, only down notes? Oh, no, I know. I know. No, they, 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 they. I'm writing six. Negative nine. Which is adding the positive. So we get nine. Now we have to add what we originally start with is a negative seven, which is equals to two. So 6.0569 times 10 to the two, I mean 10 to the second power, 
nanometers is equal to 6.0569 times 100, which will give me 605.69 nanometers. Now, I'm going to use that number to determine if I have visible light or not. Remember, if we have visible light, we got to state the color. If we don't have visible light, we have to determine what type of electromagnetic radiation it is. So I look here, I'm starting from the right, I'm at 750 nanometers. So I'm looking for 605 nanometers. Well, there's 600 nanometers. Well, hot dog, hot dog. We got 30 orange here. We got beautiful. Orange is so overrated. Now, hey. let's have a discussion. <laughs> How many of the people in the room call that orange? Yeah, no. That's a yellow. How many people in the room are going to call it yellow? <laughs> Not Guess what Mr. Hall is going to do? I'm going to give you both credit. You know why? Look where you found yourself. I'm going to see your number. Okay, I'm not grading you on whether or not you can tell shades of color or things of color. If I was... If we were getting graded on this, gentlemen, we would fail for the rest of our lives. We are so frustrated with the way we look at colors. I'm going to look and call that yellow, even though the shirt I'm wearing is yellow. If we put it next to each other, I got a light yellow, that's a dark yellow. That's what I'm saying. So, we have to answer the question. First off, is this harmful? Yes or no? No. no. Not harmful. What type of electromagnetic radiation? Visible light. Visible light. Since it's visible light, we have to state the color. What's the color we're going with? Yellow. The correct answer is orange. That's yellow. Yellow um, slash close. Kind of, that looks like orange. a mustard yellow. It's like, no, it looks like yellow on, or it looks like orange yeah, on the that, paper. That's it looks a like brownish yellow. 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 No, that's that, like a, it's that's like a mustard. Dijon mustard. That's mustard yellow. It looks like throw up. That's just yellow, guys. That looks you guys are stupid. It looks Obviously like white. On yellow. the paper you gave us, anything before 600 is yellow, and anything after is, is orange, but that just looks yellow to me. That is literally I the like color of pee, bro. Literally, what I just gave you guys, Whoa. you literally will have on your quiz. Okay. Which, by the way, speaking of quiz, totally forgot to tell y'all yesterday. This Friday is supposed to be the quiz. I will not. But then I was like, no, short week. Probably not going to be too hot if I tell them today and I quiz them on Friday. So we'll, I'm not gonna we will do a lab slide. this Friday and we'll quiz next Friday. Okay? Give me more time to cover more stuff anyway. More stuff for the quiz. All right. Notice everything we had to pull from and how we use the electromagnetic spectrum to help us with this. You have to be able to interpret and not only be able to do the math, but do the conceptual part. This is why I love this unit so much. It's not just about can you do the math. It's about do you know what the math means. It's like I went across the hall. I took their subject and I brought it in here and brought meaning to it. Oh wait, that's science. Science. You can tell your mom I said that. Math has all kinds of meaning. I don't know what you're math. Math exists because science needs it to. Math, math. exists because math. 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 literally, do you know why calculus exists? Because God said so. Because well, Isaac God Newton said it. I need the math you and he created it. That way. He made math because he was a nerd, that's why. For real. What, Dale? Um, what happens if it's not on the visible light spectrum? Like, oh, if it's below 400, is it ultraviolet? If it's above 750, is it infrared? There you go. Okay. Perfect way of uh, reading it. Now, I've been known, okay, especially when it comes to quiz, I will literally start with a value and work through it so that I know where you're going to land. And I've had people land right here. And I've had them land right here. I just drew Batman on my finger. Don't freak out. 
If you're making a comparison like right here, here, what did we know it was? We were at times 10 to the negative 7, right? I knew I was somewhere in here. It's not going to be infrared. I knew it was ultraviolet or visible light. So if it ended up not being visible light, I knew it was ultraviolet. Did we ever talk about infrared? Did I understand? Yeah, we talked about it. So if it were 10 to the negative 6, would it be from 6 to 5? If it were 10 to 5, it would be 5 to 4? Exactly. This is how you have to look at this. You have to look at this like you're here to the left. This increases as we're going up. Because what's going to happen is the wavelength increases left to right. It just happens on this one. It lines up perfect. I, you can use frequency if you want to try it. I'm not crazy about it. Because when I've looked at it, anytime I've had to use frequency, it hasn't lined up perfectly. So when we would use the frequency we got, which Ow. was like 4.92 times into the 40 hertz, and do math from there. Yep. So this one goes in reverse. So here's 1.0 times 10 to 14. So we're going to the left. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, it's so Oh, she's so cute. <laughs> I love that chart. <laughs> Look at that chart. So, again, we know we're somewhere in this area. But you couldn't calculate like the visible light with the frequency. You'd have to convert it anywhere. Right? Yeah, you're going to have to know. Yeah. It's just why Mr. Hall has been known to make you identify colors. I force your hand into doing what I want you to. Evil. I love colors. Mm -hmm. Doctor, lawyer, professor, Mr. Yeah, Attorney at law. I'm so sorry. I had a kid stand yesterday because they kept putting their head down. I'm sorry. I'll never. Don't say never. I will. I never will take a melatonin and I will. will never do it again. You took melatonin and night will? I was yeah. tired. <laughs> okay. How do you guys feel? Who could have predicted this? Um, All right. Monday, I'm not going to be here. Mary will be here for me. Okay, I will be leaping for you. Problems dealing with uh, with these. We're going to do a couple little practice ones. I want to give you a heads up to that. I will be going to Thornhill to get my wife's Jeep aligned. Congratulations! Because I'm replacing the tie rod over the weekend, and you got to do that after it's all said. Done. Take the tie rod. If the tie rod gets replaced, you got to give them the alignment. But that ain't something you can do in your front yard. All right, so let's say, for example, make it simplistic, okay? I'm not going to give you word problems right now. You get word problems later on. I want to try to, like, blow through these things. All right? So let's say, for example, I want you to find the amount of energy and frequency... 3.98 times 10 to the 15th hertz. Straight up, dog. So let's find the energy. You guys want to give us a shot on your own? Oh, uh, yeah. Hey, Siri, start a timer for a minute 30 seconds. Yes. That's 15. I have. Right out on one minute and thirty seconds. Starting now. Somebody's having a family emergency. I think it's Mr. Kitchen. Mr. Kitchen. Oh no! Why am I laughing? Oh my God, you're evil. Oh no! I think he said it. He only said like two words, and it was family emergency. So does it mean you're in here? Do you care if I check? Let me make sure it's for him. No, I'm saying. Just y'all, they're on the phone. That's okay, they're allowed to be, just Mason can't. Uh. <laughs> Family emergency. Um, Wait, I'm not going to be able to do something this morning. I've had to come up with something I need to deal with. Attached to some work I would like for you to work on during the class on this morning. We will go over his work in class on Friday. Sorry for the inconvenience. I hate his busy work. It's so stupid. He, we, will, we will not see him for the rest of this week at other points. He says Friday, he'll come down with a cold or something. 
Planck's constant, 6.26. I hate what I laugh in serious moments. Family emergency. You don't know what it is. Could be something very serious. Could be that his wife's tie rod's being replaced and he has yes, to get a front that's probably what it is. He messaged us saying he didn't have Wi-Fi, so he couldn't do Zoom, but like, how'd you get the message to? That's hilarious. What? I already said it. I already said it. Stop the cab. My front left shock in my truck is completely blown out, so now when I get in the driver's side, it just goes, shh. It sounds really bad. Whoa. This was a lot easier than that. Was it wasn't that, but it Four times ten. Yeah, that's what I got. I'm just kidding. I'm just throwing out random numbers because that's what it sounds like to me that everybody's throwing out random numbers. We read off my cut. Biggest math. I got two point six three. I got two point four nine two two. I got two point five eight. What's the exponent? Negative ten. Eighteen. How did we? That there's an exponent. Hang on, one more second, Miss Al. One more second. This is the final. Okay, 2.637, right? That's what you got times uh, the negative 18. What am I doing? Dun, dun, dun. You multiply by stitch. What do you use? Planks. 2.637 That's what I got. I Hooray! Hooray! Oh, oh, one, we multiply one. Oh. Oh. one Mood instantly better. Explain. I'm no longer explain it in detail. He gave us a one. Or we will. Mr. Hall, I gotta do some numbers. Jules, oh. Thank you. You are very well. We, you should have been paying better attention. Why did you forget the unit? I didn't. I did it to you on purpose, and all y'all are just sitting there. I'm sitting there. I'm gonna reset this because like. Units. You won't believe this, but I'm going to make you into me this year. And you're literally going to walk around and you're start looking at people and say, hey, you need to put a unit there, man. I I will protest. I will. All right, so I'm trying to find energy. So energy is equal to Planck's constant times frequency. That's what I do. And okay, I have frequency. I'm trying to find energy. Energy is by itself. So let's plug everything in. Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10, negative 34. Joule seconds times of the frequency would have given a 3.98 a times 10 to the 15. Oh, I see. She got Planck's constant on her feet. Who does? Oh, <laughs> I just she's a quantity to the stitch. I see. Wow. Wow. I'm so, I'm All right, so seconds. And hertz cancel, and then you plug that into the calculator, and it'll shoot out the answer. I didn't add a number. That's why I got it wrong. Where, where are you adding? Uh, no, I mean I didn't. Uh, I, I put 3.9 instead of 3.98 by accident. Because you're young. No. Questions? Yeah. No. Ask away. Hey, please do me a favor, because some of you do not have a calculator in this room. I want you to get the calculator. I want you to sit there, and I want you to punch it in the calculator. Like, and make sure you get that answer. I like doing it uh, on. I like doing it on my own because I'm so smart. Yeah. Ask one. Is there an easier way to remember these formulas other than E equal H weird V C equal weird upside down? Sorry, pal, but there's no way. Is is weird V and that different? Things? Yes. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> one's wavelength, one's frequency. Oh. One's lambda, one's new. 
that's or the new, stigma. not new. It's new. That's had the sick man in the Sorry, I thought it was the same thing. Sorry, mm -hmm. Maybe the same thing. They Sorry, look different. They look the same. Sorry, dog. What are you talking about? Like, talking about the they literally. Yeah, the use. Those okay. are both frequent. Yeah, those are both frequent. I'm being. Tanner, what are you talking I'm about? I'm being what what thrown for a loop. All you can say was, are they the same thing? Yeah, I said I skipped the weird V's. Or the weird V's. You see the U that's going. Like the one. That's the same thing as the other one. Then why are people telling me it's not? Are you lying? Okay, do you see Headless Stick Man? They're both frequency. What? Headless yeah, stick Headless Stick Man, man right. and then next to H and Headless Stick Man. That's the same thing. Yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Then why would you tell me otherwise? Because we I thought you were talking about, about wait, the Headless Stick Man. We you're talking about the two that has the purple asterisks on them? Yeah. Those are the same. They're purple asterisks because they join them together. It's the same what? type. <laughs> I knew that, but I got thrown. I got. I got. I got. Uh, bam. 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 Find the wavelength. No. <laughs> okay. Fell. No. You'll be, hey, you'll be the student that I can now start looking and saying, there's been six. <laughs> I'm finally on to a second hand. I plan on, Mason, you want to make it seven? Right, so confused with uh, what yeah, I said or no, confused with that? In all my seven years of teaching chemistry here, I've had only five kids fail. And the five kids that have failed because they didn't come to school. Uh, they refused to come to school and they didn't want any help. I would never do that. So I can literally count them on one hand. Like literally, there's never been a kid that's came here and has tried that has ever failed chemistry with me. That's why I hate the reputation that kids go out in the hallway and say, Oh, you got Mr. You're failing. You done, you done failed. Kim is. I like that. I'm gonna start doing that. Oh, we're we'll the map I'm gonna like post that on my door. Yeah, um, I learned that from someone older and wiser than me. That's not very hard to do. <laughs> hey, yo, Mister, I didn't know that new was in both of those. Find me the wavelength. I'm working on it, Mister All. Okay. That's, what's that C? What's E D P D, Mister Hall? What did you give you love? I'm not done yet. You're not done yet. Hold on. Cool. I can do algebra. Alright, alright. No, I'm not sure. When you're good. Uh, 1.18 times 10 to the power 3. That is not what I got. <laughs> Let me see that. Let me see. Let me see that. I got 7.4874 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay. Say again? I got 7.4874 times 10 to the negative 8. Okay, we don't have any class today. Where did you get What? Where do you know? Right, this professor's out of town. Oh, okay. Alright, come here. 3.8 times 10 to the negative 8. Up there. He gave it to us in the first problem. Hey, man. Oh, that's what I was looking for. <laughs> He's going crazy. Help him. What'd you get, Kenzie? <laughs> no. Kenzie, what'd you get? 7.4. Yeah. 7.4 times 10 to the negative 8. Outnumbered 3. Say that again. 7.48. Can you seven. show me your problem? You I just stood by. Can you let me finish there. the words? No. No. Out of my mouth? No. Eli, yeah, I got you, Baba Bear. You just divide. I, I did divide. Did you mess up the number? I don't think so. No. no. Give us the answer. I'm not what? even. Give us the answer. What? 7.4874 times 10 to the negative 8 I did. Hero. meters yep. is this harmful to humans? Let me do that on um, meters real quick. Um, I didn't get that far. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I did forget. 
Yes. Wait, wait, wait. Yes, it is. Yes, because it's ultraviolet. <laughs> yes, because it's ultraviolet, can give you skin cancer. I didn't mean no, as in it wasn't harmful. I'm, I'm excited. I was excited. You're okay. Hey, have a great one for the rest of your day. Tomorrow you come in here. We'll do a couple more of these. Remember, on Monday I'm leaving you a practice sheet with these to work in your groups and do. Okay? Report to the office. We are doing the group work. Yeah. How do you get visible light? How do you feel it? So. You look at it. Here are a couple problems I want to give you guys before I just left you and abandoned you to the world, to the realm yourself. So, first one, I got these working in columns. The first two are easy, the third one combines it all together and makes it hard, but you're still doing the same steps. So first, I want you to find a wavelength if you have the frequency. So to do that, you have to manipulate the speed of light equation to get wavelength equals the speed of light divided by frequency. Mr. Holmes, so pro. All I did was algebra there. Okay. I don't like that. I love it. So 2.98 times 10 to the 8 meters per second divided by 4.98 times 10 to the 16 hertz gives me 5.9839 times 10 to the 9 meters which is the value we would use with the electromagnetic spectrum, Dale, to determine if it was harmful if we were being asked for that. Idiot. Oh my god. Hey, I got it right. Number now. two, ask you from above, find E. So we have to find E, so we're going to use the frequency, not the wavelength. I did this to you on purpose. I want to make sure you understand what these qualities and quantities are. So you get energy equals Planck's constant, 6.626 times 10 to the negative 34 joule seconds times the frequency we were given, 4.98 times 10 to 16 hertz, to get a value of 3.2997 times 10 to the negative 17 joules. Yeah. Everybody good? Yeah. yeah. I, did yeah. It, I did it backwards. I'm so slow. I got that through yes. number one. Yes. I got that. Oh, I need to accept my formula. Yeah. Number three, this harmful? Yeah. Yeah, why is it harmful? What type of electromagnetic radiation is it? X-rays. It's x-rays. Right, Dale? But do we know that, though? Yeah. Yes. Because if you look at the electromagnetic spectrum, we are to the wavelengths to the negative nine. Find negative nine. So negative nine is in this area. Either way you look at it, it's x-rays, so we know 100% fact it is x-rays. Yeah. I go to the next one. I'm trying to find frequency. If energy is 4.21 times, uh, times 10 to the negative 19, uh, manipulate the formula, get frequency by itself. How do I know to start with this equation? Um, because you need to find yeah, the. What are you giving? What? You're going to be. Energy. In. Energy. In. This is my favorite. You start with energy. Since you're starting with energy, it means you have to use the energy equation. Man, I hope that Monday goes well. This is my favorite lesson. So that's the energy in this place constant. You end up with frequency 6.3538 times 10 to the 14 hertz. Yeah. Second question on this problem, I ask you to find wavelength. Wavelength is 2.98 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. Speed of light divided by 6.3538 times 10 to 14 hertz. Gives me 4.6901 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So that's the wavelength. I use that to determine whether it's harmful or not. Nope, it's not. Someone told me it was something of a turtle. It's yeah, a in turquoise. Between blue and green. Turquoise. Whatever that is. So it's it's to the negative seven. Yeah. Negative so seven. It, why why wouldn't it be ultraviolet? Because you are falling into the trap. What trap you. Can I fall into? Whenever you get negative seven, you have to convert it into nanometers too. I Look and see which that. one you got. If you convert this into nanometers, okay. what you end up getting is four hundred sixty nine point zero one nanometers. Look at the visible light spectrum. Visible light spectrum is in nanometers. Okay. So 400, 500, you go to 469. 
somewhere past the middle there, okay. you're in a blue. I mean, if you wanted the bracket down, yes, bracket blue. When you're going from negative seven, so it's only from. Add a negative nine through It's only with negative seven that you convert to negative. Yeah. No. Uh, no. You can call it that. Yes. So okay. So now how do we get ultraviolet then? If it's. I'm if sorry. I give you something that's 380 nanometers, what is it? That's a. Uh, it's gonna be ultraviolet. <laughs> How do you know it's ultraviolet? It's between 400 and... Look, here's 400. You're going to go 20 past oh. it. 380. Well, that's past visible light. What's here past visible light? Ultraviolet. Uh, he was playing a prank on you, Mr. Hall. You know all along. I skipped a bunch of steps here so that you can see what I did here as I took 4.6. Nine zero one times or ten nanometers. Something another. I went from meters, which yeah. is the nine. base unit, so it's zero. I want to subtract nine minus seven. to nano is negative nine, so that's plus nine. It gives me nine, but I have to add what I originally start with is the negative seven. That's what I'm talking about. two, so two, and that gives me nanometers. So I can just do this as four point six nine zero one times ten squared is a hundred. Which, whenever you do that, will give you four point. Uh, I mean, four hundred sixty-nine point zero one. Okay. Yeah. What are your questions? I'm balling. I already asked mine. Yeah. Mm. I'll be honest with you. I can read the room. I can tell that some of you are totally lost and confused. You need to ask for help. Just ask. So I'm having an amazing morning. <clears throat> It's beautiful morning. Oh yeah, I'm balling, Mr. Hall. Cracks me up. Reason I did this to you: these two problems broke out all the steps. This problem does not. If you have energy, determine if it's harmful. What do we use to determine if something is harmful or not? You're going to use the electromagnetic spectrum. What value are you going to look at on the electromagnetic spectrum? You're going to look at the wavelength. So we have to solve to find the wavelength. That's why you see lambda up there for me. That's my little note like, hey, uh, find lambda, Kevin. Mm -hmm. yep. So then I do this step. To find frequency. Why did I find frequency? Uh, because it's how you can determine the uh, wavelength. Because the problems are connected to each other. Because you were given energy first, and if you're going to find a wavelength, you first have to find frequency. Remember, this is the way of looking at these. Just like we did with mole conversions. You either start with going through or going to moles. You're either starting with going to or going through frequency. Frequency links the two together. Okay. How y'all feeling? I'm feeling crazy, Mr. Hall. Questions? Not necessarily. Can we do more so I can memorize the light thingy? Is it 2.98 times 10 to the 8? Meters per second. Yeah. 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 Meters per second. You got a question to ask? I, I, I figured out the question with my brain. <laughs> <laughs> this is. This has taught me never to have a point of time. No, I was at the doctor. My, never go to the doctor, ever. Or because you missed school. Or not like you would know about that. Oh, you never miss. I went two days this week and I know everything now. But I think I'm going to start going to school more often. This is crazy. I know everything now. I love 
love missing no more school. Yeah, this is cool. I'll get her until tomorrow. Tomorrow's last day. I'll believe it when I see it. Tomorrow, Miss Punch Cheeks. No, I'm getting worried. I've never seen Mason this chipper. I'm. What do you mean by that? I'm. Like, he's like. I don't know if he's. You know what I mean? I've been to school all day this week. Every day this week. I've never seen him excited about school, like, period. But, like, now. He's like, oh my god, I love math, I love school. Something's wrong. Like, so, like he got like. I don't think anything's wrong. I think he's finally figuring out that school is great. Or he owes money to like some like, I don't know, somebody. Well, he doesn't. Well, we're gonna go back to the waves today, but today that. is something different. I love the ocean. Is that Rachel? This is my fight song. Yeah, too. Like that. Yep, that'll work. Natural. Wait a minute. Not quite. Oh. Here we are with two waves. There's something very important that happens when it comes to waves. It's a property of waves. We've talked about a couple properties of waves. Yeah? By the way, what are you looking for? It's a trash can. It's right there. It's a trash can. It's a trash can. It's a trash can. It's in my second trash can. There's still my trash can. Aiden, what'd you do with it? That's my bad, Mr. Hall. Don't blame me. All I got to say is if you come in late tomorrow and tell me a burning cake. Never mind. I apologize. I forgot the other trash can. <laughs> it's been here the whole time. This morning. I don't know why they put it there. Anyway, look at this. I bet my wife moved it there. Did Mary move a trash can up here yesterday? It wasn't back here. I think Mary is trying to bring us Mr. Hall. Probably is. I ain't all I got to say is if you come in late tomorrow and you tell me that you were rescuing a burning cat out of a tree, uh, I'm then calling Peta because I'm convinced you're setting cats on fire. <laughs> so there are these two waves. Now, there's a special property that happens with waves, and the property we're going to talk about is interference. Hey, man. Hey, man. I'd rather die. Hey, Mr. Paul, we, we, we never went over x-rays or gamma rays. I don't think so. Well, no, we did. We, we, we went over. Yeah, we, yeah, we, we went, went over. And I think y'all just never came back that day. Oh, well, yeah, I, I, for, I, for, I forget we leave. <laughs> yeah. yeah, that was funny, by the way, when I pulled in and got situated and everything. And, my wife has texted me asking, it's like, don't you have certain kids that leave early? And then she texts me back. I have to says, set my alarm. Never mind that. I told her, I'm like, yeah, honey, that was the class you could have asked them and they would have told you the truth. So, we look at interference. There's two different types of interference that we're going to deal with. The first one we're going to deal with is constructive interference. Question you, what happens at a construction site? Build. Build things, right? It's the same thing here. Constructive interference is interference from two waves that what they will do, the waves add to each other. Now, this happens at same points. Happens at the same point. Great example of this, of where you'll see this taking place. The waves or the waves? What? Does it say the waves? Waves. What does that mean? It means, I should have said waves. Sorry. Mm -hmm. It's 
Kinsey 12. That's my bad, sorry. The waves add to each other. The way this happens is what you see here. What's this point? Say it, Crest. Crest. Yeah. Which, by the way, my wife bought a different type of Crest toothpaste. Tastes like poopy. Like, I literally came home yesterday, and she looks at me and wants to know why I bought a new toothbrush. And I'm like, I need a new toothbrush. When it's, I'm the person that holds on to my toothbrush forever. It's like little things are flowing out to the sides, and my wife looks at me and is like, you're getting a new toothbrush. And I'm like, no! I've had that one for three months. She's like, Kevin, literally, like, what do you do to your teeth? Please. And then she pulls out a new thing of toothpaste, and she's like, why did you get a new tube of toothpaste? I'm like, because the one that you got tastes awful. And I hate it. I think that's why you may need to change your toothbrush every six months. Every change. I think it's more than that, actually. Oh. I'm the world's worst at it. Like, I literally, y'all gonna judge me, okay? Oh, yeah. This is getting personal right now. Don't brush your teeth right now, is that what you said? No. no I'm like always ready to go. Floss, toothpaste. No, I respect it. That's a little, little flavored toothpaste. Toothbrush. And as you can see, kind of flowing out to the sides, you know. If you looked at me and said I brush my teeth only once a day, I would have to. I would be like, Yeah. Okay. Anyway, there's a crest. Hey, question you. What's this point? Crest. crest. A crest. So, perfect example for where we see crest and crest meeting up. But what is this? Trough. Trough. Bill is so excited. He's like, I, I understand something in chemistry, yes! I remember that one. That's the only thing I remember. So, where we see constructive interference taking place are at the same points on the way. Perfect example of this is when a crest Meets a crest. I made it 17 years ago. Okay. A trough. Meets a trough. Oh, If it's at the same point of the wave, it builds up and adds to itself. But there is another type of interference. Bum bum bum. They like sound effects. Who would have thunk it? There just isn't constructive interference. Deconstructive. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Oh no, it's just destructive, not bad. Destructive. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing you destructive interference. Do you got a problem with waves interfering yes. with your homes? Just turn it to destructive interference. And those waves will be gone in no time. The reason that's why is because what do you think happens whenever we destroy something? It dies. Okay, yeah, that's true. Okay, yeah. It crumbles. Let's say that it's demolition day. Yeah. Okay, what's going to happen? Hey, you want that wall gone? You want an open concept? What's going to take place? Demolish We're going to destroy it. We're going to kick that thing in. We're going to take it out. It's destruction time, baby. Destructive interference. What's happening with destructive interference? Destruction. The waves cancel each other out. Are you saying we're destroying waves with waves? Yes. I was told you ever heard that saying, know. fight fire with fire? Yeah. That's dumb. Yeah, you should have looked and said, fight waves with waves. Who in the world is going to fight fire with fire? You're just going to get a bigger fire. What's, what is the equivalent of waves water, then? Like fight what fire, did you say? Fight fire with water. So what what yeah, they don't say that. They don't say fight fire with I water. I know, but like that's what you fight fire well, What about, what if it's a grease water. fire? What if it's yeah. then? You cut the oxygen off. Fire, fire with a fire blanket. If you jump on a grease fire, how fast will it take to, to, to like... <laughs> if you jump on a grease fire? Like, let's say you have a grease fire in a pan, you lay it on the floor, and then you just like belly flop over <laughs> it. How bad is, like, how fast is it going to die out? You're going to get, uh, well, besides the fact you're going to get third degree burns, uh, you are, 
Um, I don't know, because it depends how determined you are. If you're going to lay on that pan. And if you are, you're more of a man than I am. I would rather grab the lid. Just At what point would death on. proceed, like, come over? No lid, you're in the a way, bar. The way God made. intended. To die by an oil light? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Destructive uh, interference. Tanner. This happens. Who said we need to go like that? At opposing <coughs> points on waves. So this is when opposing points meet up on the waves. So let's look go over here at Running spelling games, but off today. Oh wow! Listen. Happens at opposes points on waves. Opposes. <laughs> Listen, I'm way off today, guys. Uh, so let's say here and here. I know they don't perfectly match up, but right now, pretend that they perfectly match up. What is this? What is this? Crest. What happens if a crest meets a trough? It's going oh, to destroy. Destructive interference! It's yeah. going to blow up. This doesn't make any sense. It so cancels it out. You should draw another little wave with, with both on so we can oh. see better. Oh, gosh. Oh, goodness. My bad. Oh, Sorry. gosh. So. People ask for too many things from me. Who will they stop? My bad, both teachers. He already showed up for work and everything he knew to ask. Mm -hmm. I'm going to ask him to do stuff now. Exactly, waves. What do you mean, where are waves? Like, what, what are they? No, I know what they are. But what are they exactly? Where well, like, you what are we talking about in the sense of like, they wave each other and they can interact with each other? Okay, so you're at a pond. Mm -hmm. You're standing on one side, scours on the other. Y'all take two big rocks. You eat a rock out, she eats a rock out. What do you see from the point where the rocks go in? The wave waves. Now what you're going to watch is when your two waves meet, you'll see points to where they actually hit the wave and they're dying out, but then there's other points they're hitting the waves and they carry on. You see this taking place because of destructive and constructive interference. Is that also the same thing with light and stuff like that? Okay. Yes. Same. I forgot, I meant to bring my uh, French press. I'll set me a reminder. I'll show you one more. Uh, to bring my fridge press. Because the metal thing in the bottom allows me to break a laser up so it breaks into multiple lights and you actually get to see the interference pattern. I think I'm picking up what Can you also make me now. some coffee? Nice. Huh? Can you also make some coffee? Mr. No. Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, so here you go. Here is uh, two waves on top of each other. It looks kind of confusing to me, but hey, that's what you want, that's what you want. So here I got a crest meets a trough. What happens? Destruction. Destruction. Boom. Complain. Destructive interference. Boom. 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 Here, I got a trough meets a trough. What I got? Construction. 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 That's beautiful. That's. This speaks to how humans are like is relate with life. Hard. Boom. Crest trough. What we got? Boom. 
destructive. It's been destroyed. Hooray. Is that what they say whenever they destroy it, like the waves destroy the other waves? Yes. They proclaim it out loud, like they declare. That's awesome, honestly. So, here is, this right here, this is the thing that I need you to see, is interference. And there's something called an interference pattern that comes along with it. So... We're not ready for that yet. <laughs> I'm getting ahead of myself. But interference is a property of what? Waves. Okay. What? What is it? Who's at my door? Oh, oh my God. God. Would you look who it is? Now there's late, yeah, okay. and then there's late. I'm going to take that. I'm going to start using that. Now there's late, and there's your late. Here are the new definition of late. Is that a, is that a cellular that? device? What is that? <laughs> cellular device for right. the use of So interference patterns are properties of this. Now, here comes the cool part. Understanding how things interact together. Today we get to get into something fun. Okay. So, I left up the electromagnetic spectrum. Feel free to get yours out. Don't feel like you have to, but feel free to get it out. You get to a very interesting thing. Mr. Hall informed you and told you that. There is that light is waves. Yeah. Could you lie? We have interference patterns. We know that they interact with each other. And here comes the cool part. Whoa. Is learning something. I want you to learn today how color. I am a mito. No? It's an exciting day. Guess what page we're on? What? On my legal path. 25? 21. We're getting there. 21. So that is. <clears throat> Alright, so to do this. You just. You just. No, you just don't. Really? Yippee. Okay. What? No, Kim, no, no. She canceled? He can't. He, he, it's Tuesday. Wait. Oh my gosh, wait, yes, no biology. Oh my gosh, I'm so She has pneumonia. Let's go. Hey, that ain't cool. Uh, Logan had pneumonia like four times. I made fun of him every time. He blew it. Sure we were here <laughs> doing that before we learned that she had pneumonia. Yeah, we did start that. Before. Yeah, then he starts cheering that she's got pneumonia. Yeah. <laughs> Makes me wonder what would happen if y'all came to school one day and you're like, oh, where's Mr. Hall at? And then the principals walk out and say, Mr. Hall's not here. He's probably not going to be here for a while. Yes. Mr. Hall has uh, been in a horrible car accident. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Somebody give me in contact She's with the kept, person who hit him. Listen, I was talking with Let's her last about my grade in there. And she was like, yeah, I would show my face, but I'm feeling bad. And like, she had a whole other week of class. And now she just has pneumonia. Is pneumonia bat like really Very bad? Yeah, yeah. You Logan, died for a Logan had it like five times and he was fine. Mr. I have to tell you this. She was grading on midterms one question by a time, then putting the grade in. Yeah, it was so. No, no, Rice will update it like that. Oh. So I think it was Saturday or Sunday. It was Saturday. I was, I was just in bed. I got a Rice face notification. Yeah. Midterm graded. And I looked at it. 25%. Yeah, I know. It was 150 point like mid like that do you I realized he messed up. Alright. How color works? What, what color is the phone? Red. Red. See the color? Burn orange. Black. Wait, what? Did you really just call that a burn orange? Yeah. Red. I was being difficult, my bad. I put the oh we're talking about the wind person. Oh. See the color? Mm -hmm. Red. 
Red, Mr. Rogers. How do you know that? I can't show you. I can't turn on my night vision. No, I, I, I saw it before. You again, Mr. Rogers. You again, I'll turn on my night vision. Oh, yeah. That's, red. that's red. definitely red. <laughs> so you see the red? Yeah. yeah. Understand? Yes. Do you get it yet? Yeah. Yes. Yes. You know how light yeah. works? Color yeah. still Hey, we did this last year. Oh, my goodness. Can you start fire something? That's orange. Okay, that's purple. That is not purple. Listen, no, that's a very orange. That's blue. Y'all better start catching. I'm not bald. You can't just use that every time. <laughs> I'm not bald. I absolutely Hey, what color flavor do you see? Flavor? <laughs> oh, red. red. What color is there? Blue. blue. Black. Still red. Oh, <laughs> Liar. No! <laughs> right? Yeah. What color do you see? Red. red. Guys, I got it's this. Orange, orange, orange! Blue. I got this guy's color. It was blue! It blue! 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 Okay, well that's not fair, Mr. We just can't see it. <laughs> blue! Alright, guess this right here. Guess this right here, guys. I'm team orange. I'm team blue. Uh, team red. I think it's red. Red? Back to red. He went back to red, definitely. No, he not Blue! That's a blue top I've ever seen. Blue! 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 <laughs> Ready? Yeah. I'm feeling green. I'm feeling green, guys. Green? Green. What green. color? There is no green. What color? It's green. What color? It's red! Oh, it's it's blue! Blue! Color. blue. blue. color is the folder! Oh. Green! Orange! It's interesting. I'm holding a book. What? Yeah, it's green! Blue! <laughs> Let's go! That has blue on it. That Look counts. at the side of it. It is red and it's orange. Green. The horse. We all win. And the back. We all win. We're all winners tonight. Wow, I love participating. Yeah, me, I didn't win any. <laughs> He's a severe dad. <laughs> he can't put all his money away. Here's the point. Hey, the lights switch on. Can you see? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes. Can't? No. <laughs> Question you. What happens if I turn the light off? You can't see. I can't see. That sucks. I love Thomas Edison. Thomas Edison. Like Easy. He made the light bulb. Overrated. Easy. You have strong opinions about Edison? Huh? He said easy. Great, great influencer. And yeah, he had this is great. Super I, intelligent man. I'm just not a, I'm just not a fan. I'm seeing Benjamin Franklin. Didn't he like steal Franklin would have been. What? Didn't he like steal like the the light bulb was invented. Yeah, I don't think he, he didn't steal it. it. Yeah, he, he just made the light bulb easier to make. Yeah. No, nah, Nokia Tesla made everything that we have. Nokia. Now. Nokia. Nikola. Yeah, that. No, it's Nokia because like the phone. Yeah, yeah, he made the phone. Yeah, he made the Nokia. Oh really? Hey, also Nikola Tesla was decades ahead of everybody else. He's pretty cool. Yeah, he That's like, brilliant idea. He had like the electricity thing. Yeah. Didn't he right. have like a conjurer? I don't know what you're doing to me. How is color working? Um, light. I don't know. I see light. 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 You're saying that. And the reflection of what it is. It's what's reflected off the surface. Like white light come down, red light come back to us. I'm this is the problem. I teach other classes. I'm like really excited about my content. So I teach chemistry and biology. Don't tell the principal that. Wait, go ahead. They wouldn't know. It's hilarious. You know, like the instructional empowerment people that are coming here now. Have you seen the uh, the new lady? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she came into like it was in a training session. And she starts asking, and they're like wanting a really hard question. And if you ever realize, if you ever actually ever look at that over there, I never really write out major details. I just write stuff. 
Yeah. That way they, it's there. They, they needed a hard question. Yeah, so they needed like something hard and to know like I'm asking for a very challenging thing that would require people to work together. So I asked for the creation of a proper uh, energy diagram from a problem. Ask them the Declaration of Independence. Mm -hmm. was said. They don't know that. Let's not do that. <laughs> I did that last year and man, I got myself in trouble. I was like, holy smokes. Very bad Board of Education will remember me forever. Not for good reasons. So they asked me what I was going to do and I told them I was going to do that. So then she starts wanting to look at me and ask questions about because they're thinking it's not challenging enough. And I'm just sitting there and she goes, yeah, but it needs to be something worthy of like a team task where they're in a team together, working together. And I'm like, oh, this is it. Because I mean, you have to understand the difference between the exothermic and endothermic reactions. You have to understand the potential energy behind reactants in the product and how much activation energy is needed between them and what's happening with the energy throughout the process. And I watched her face go from questioning me to, oh, okay. And I'm like, wow, I have no idea. Anyway, how color works. How are we seeing the color we're seeing in the room? Uh, it's right. reflect White light so. reflected back into our eyes. We're trying to process it. I don't know where our eyes work. Why do so, we see upside down? Because your eye is lens and it actually flips the image. So somewhere between the eye, the, apti, the optic nerve, and the brain, the brain flips it right side up. Oh. We don't know where, we don't know how, we just know it doesn't. The way we see stuff now is not how things are. Everything's actually upside down. I was like, this so is are we way. on the ceiling? <laughs> yeah, everything oh is upside down technically. And we are on the ceiling. Actually, no, like your eye flips it upside down. Yeah, but like we were how looking do we down, which is the ceiling. Actually how do we actually know though? Like, what if gravity... Because your eye is concave. So if you run something through a concave so, lens, what happens is it will flip it. Mr. Austin, so, why would it do basically, that? Basically, have you ever watched Fort and Here's a Who? Yeah. <laughs> Wait, no, I haven't watched that one. I believe we are on a speck on a flower in the universe. <laughs> and Mason's a little emo boy. <laughs> <laughs> okay, anyway. God is gorgeous. High color works. Okay, so the first thing you got to get is white light. <laughs> and here's why I say white light, because when we talk about the color white, that's all color <coughs> together being sent out. Travels and hits objects. Not see the trash can. You got it. Ooh. Whoa. We got a tire. We got. We got a fun one. I'm far from that. We got a train. Mm -hmm. Travels and hits objects. <laughs> the objects. Collect the light. Transmitted. 
light, hits our eyes, binds the proteins, No, it's chemistry. Hits our eyes, binds to proteins, and sends signals to our brain the color we see. Those are set to certain wavelengths mm. and frequencies. So the dye we've been setting in there is set to it. Yeah, I don't know why I thought of that. Use, like, if I want the color white in my room, it'll just use my like, color blue, so red, blue, green. Mix it all together. So here's how this idea is coming about. So. Yeah, was just running too. Sure. Andrew has a very nice blue shirt today. Thank you. Okay. It's very nice. Picked it up myself. It's nice dog. Thanks. <laughs> so what's happening is the light in the room, flip the light switch on. The light is white, travels down, hits his shirt. Inside Tanner's shirt are pigments. What happens are his shirt absorbs all the frequencies and wavelengths of light. Besides warm, what color will it not absorb? Blue. Does not absorb blue. The blue light is then transmitted out, so it comes back out and hits my eyes, and that's why I see blue. Like little lasers. That's awesome. Hey, what is a quality that we talk about whenever it comes to light? We talk about wavelength, frequency, and what's the third thing we can solve for? It starts with an E. Energy. Energy. You ever heard somebody look at you and tell you that don't wear black in the summer? Yes. You ever heard somebody tell you what color you should wear? White. Why? Because it reflects all of that light. The heat the doesn't. The, the, the energy burn. doesn't get absorbed into your clothes, Mr. Hall. Oh, wow. Well, that's yeah. interesting. And transferred into your Who's your friend there? Hey, I just talked to the citizen. Hey. Yeah, Alright, I got Aiden here. First off, give it up to our firefighter Aiden Red Hewing Fire Burning Out of trees. Stop being late for my class. Tell the cat to stop getting on fire. Look at the black hoodie. He's wearing. All the light. Goes to the hoodie. Why do I see black? Because it's an absence of light. Nothing gets reflected and transmitted back to me. What happens to take place is the hoodie absorbs all the wavelengths of light. So what goes along with all those wavelengths of light? Energy. Energy. So every wavelength of light is being absorbed. So that hoodie will be hotter in the sun. Now underneath, he's wearing a shirt. Which one is the shirt? Shirt is white. Now, what does that mean here? All the light is. I mean, all, all, all the light is getting reflected. Out. All the light is getting reflected back out to us. And that shirt's not absorbing any of the light. So, what happens? It, you know, the, he won't die of a heat stroke. It, okay, exactly. He's not going to absorb any of the energy behind it. This is why people look at you and tell you wear white in the summer, not black. What happens when you're wearing something that's black? It absorbs more energy, so it gets hotter. Thank you. You're going to sit back down. I have a question, Mr. Ask away, Dale. If it reflects all white, why is he not a mirror when he has a white shirt on? 
<laughs> that's not what mirrors do. Okay, that's where I went with what was being said. It's transmitting light. It's not reflecting. Okay. Sorry. I mirrors agree. reflect, but what I'm talking about actually transmit. So after black, what is what color absorbs the most light after black? Gray. As energy increase, you go up. So like purple. Oh, so red is actually a pretty solid color to wear. Dark red, in yeah. fact, is a pretty I would have never purple. thought that. You gotta be careful when you get into dark red. Is it actually dark red or they mix black in with it? It's true. Are they trying to sabotage you? They're trying to keep me hotter. So here's the thing. Hey, I need you to take this and make sure you got this, okay? Any questions now? I'm going to throw a lot at you. Um, I have a very serious question. Yeah, ask what? For the test Tuesday, is it going to be cumulative with what we did on the last test or just what we went over since the last All test? All of it. That's a great question. All so there's there is two things in Mr. Hall's class. Number one, once you learn it, don't forget it. Because of the second reason, all is fair game. Everything connects together. What you learned on day one is fair game. I can ask you any question I want. I'm sorry, but I don't know what you're Light. Light. I asked you a question. We talked about light. Light is my favorite element. And I asked you. Wave? Pardon? It is both, Mr. Hall. <laughs> so we have proven to you that wave, that light is a wave. You've seen, examined it, dealt with it. But now is the day that rocks your world. Good golly. Good golly, oh, golly. Yes. Don't you dare say it's not both. Light is a particle. What? Action. Consider my world to rock. I love futons. I just have lost some brains. Like Did you say? Light oh, is both. When it comes to the particle of light that we deal with, it has a very special name. A photon is something you sit on. Can I not sit on a photon, too? A photon? <laughs> Checkmate, that's your Photon. Oh, good golly. Is it possible to, to like, have lights, like lightning shoot out of your fingertips like light? <laughs> This ain't Star Wars. I <laughs> actually Wars. do happen to be more of a Sidious. <laughs> Just you wait, Mr. Hall. You remind zip, me. Zip, zip, zip. It does remind me of Palpatine. For those of you who have never watched Star Wars, you have no idea what just happened. <laughs> For the rest of us that have watched Star Wars, we just thought, that was weird. That was perfect. <laughs> you have no idea. So, photons are defined to be this. A quanta of energy. <coughs> with... No mass. Quanta? Quanta of energy with no mass. Quanta probably sounds a little familiar to you all. Absolutely not. Because of something called quantum. Yeah. Quantity. <clears throat> Yeah, I know that. Really? I know that. What? The whole oh, thing we've been working towards the whole time is getting to what is called the quantum model of the atom. So to understand the quantum model of the atom, you have to understand the basis for it and the foundation for it. So 
we're now going to start looking at light as a wave and light as a particle. But if we're going to do this, we have to understand what proves light. Straight up. So there's different things we can do to prove light as a wave, but the number one thing we can do, it has a very special name. And there's a reason we bring this in. What proves light as a wave? Dalbert double. Dalbert. Slip. 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 Experts. Experience. Experiment. How that was slit experiment. <laughs> There's a lot of things that could be, alright? Oh, I know. I know. It's like, it's, like, it's like the mirrors or something. So the double slit experiment, and this is how the foundation of the double slit experiment is. So we have a box. It has some light source. This and there's an opening in the box that allows light to escape only from that one point. Straight up, there's not a box, is there? In front of it is a wall. Yep. Mm -hmm. That has two slits. You could have done that before I drew a straight line with my pen. To the Considering the fact that you actually came to class today, we'll take it as a win. <laughs> now here's the interesting part that happens. Say there is a detector oh, on the back wall. I'm getting too complex. How they build all this stuff? So here's what happens. Light comes out from this source and it expands. Please, and please don't continue that. I mean, like the more you talk, the more it goes away or something. But now what happens is, as the light source radiates out, it hits here. Where there's a solid part of the wall, it doesn't go through. But where there's a slit, it does. But here's the fun part. There's a second slit. Oh my gosh. Man, that's crazy. I ain't drawing. This is I'm not, yeah. No, I just detailedly just draw drew that. You guys can do the same. I don't wanna. Here comes the fun part. Uh -oh. We see spots where the waves meet. Uh -oh. I didn't make my waves, waves meet. I didn't make my waves meet either. But whenever we see this, we see something special on the wall. Hold on before I forget. Hey Siri, make me a reminder. Make me a reminder for in the morning at 6 a.m. Get bottom of French Press. Okay, I have to get bottom of French Press for tomorrow at 6 a.m. I'll have it so I can show you this. So you're going to bring the wall to? You're going to you're gonna do an experiment? Probably not in the span of two days. What's the recovery rate on you? Actually, at least a week, probably. Dale, ask me what's the recovery rate on you. I think the pendulum is up for like a week one time, and then the second time is up for like three weeks. So it just depends how your body fights it. Okay. This is what is seen on the detector. You see multiple bands here. We see bands of light and bands of no light. Here's what's happening. 
we see something very special. This has a special name. This is interference pattern. With the interference pattern, where we see bands of light, where we see these bands of light at is constructive interference. <laughs> I'm wearing pharmacy merch, Mr. Hall. Okay. Why? Just far. It right. glitters as well. You see? Yeah, we see. Where were we? We see dark spots. Shout out pharmacy. Yeah, I'm advertising my home dogs. It is in the parade. Oh destructive interference. So what we're seeing with the double slit experiment is what's proving light as a wave is this interference pattern. Now I'm going to go ahead and tell you Double slit experiment will make an appearance again in class. That's one class gets weird. So understand how the double slit experiment is working. Yes? Yeah. Now we gotta go to the section of what proves. Let me guess. Particle. Any particle. Oh my god. So I'll go ahead and tell you, Tesla, 1905 is the year for Albert Einstein. What? Did you say soccer? Albert Einstein wrote three significant papers. And out of the three, one he obtained the Nobel Prize for. Do you know what it was? Probably yes. light as a part of it. He, he wrote a paper calling, he, he, where he said, what proves light is a particle? And then, and then proves light and is a particle. I think rather than proving light as a particle, he proved light but exists. You no, know, he said it in German, I bet. I bet he said it in German. Those 100 year olds. Uh, old as hell. Like this. Province. <laughs> I will look at you and say it's 1905. Albert Einstein wrote three papers. Out of the three, this is the one he never thought would get the Nobel Prize. The one that everybody thinks about Albert Einstein <laughs> is his theory of relativity. But that's not what he got his Nobel Prize for. 
was it? He got his Nobel Prize for it. Oh, like, I was almost right. Was Licht als Delgin bewitched? Don't you cuss, man. Oh, <laughs> sorry. Yeah. Please don't tell me. Is that tone of voice with him? Wotan. He's German. You called me a what? Photoelectric effect. You should be writing more stuff down than one paper the entire year. I'm almost on to begin. Like you're so like. So the photoelectric effect. Hey, no joke. Like uh, I will say this is. I, I will say this is like I'm not trying to send you out because you are really smart, but. I had another kid that was extremely smart, just like you, that didn't need to take notes at like this point. And I warned him, and I told him, I'm like, you're gonna wanna start taking notes. You wanna form the habit now, because we're gonna turn the corner or something here and we're taking notes. He didn't listen to me. When we reach a certain point, I will warn you again, take the notes. He didn't listen. And it did not go well for him. Yeah, he, he, uh, he ended up. I ended up bombing at quits, and I'm talking like. You see it in your future. If you don't take notes on a legal pad, are you even taking notes? Amen. So, photoelectric effect, this is what the photoelectric effect is. So, let's say I have a piece of metal. What's up with boxes and uh, light? On this piece of metal, you guys have probably seen a video of this, or you may have done this. If you have not done this, I'm not telling you to go home and do it, because I'm not taking responsibility for you ruining your parents' appliances. Okay. What was I doing? Well, what? now I'm going to do it. Don't, don't, are you going to teach me how to do it? Can you put a spoon in her microphone? I'm going to do it at McDonald's. So, Let's you go. take a piece of metal. And let's say you shine red light on it. Do you dare me to drop a bag of ice in the McDonald's fryer? <laughs> no. Are you sure? Are you sure? Yes. Yeah. You're positive. What about me? I'll do it, Mr. Hall. I don't work there, so I can't. You shine the red light on there, and nothing takes place. Nothing happens. So so then you remove light. the red light, you decide to shine a blue light. Oh, no, no, no. Maybe. Okay. Nothing happens. Then all of a sudden you decide you're going to take the metal strip and you're going to place it in your mom's tanning bed that has UV light. As you do this, you send UV rays onto the metal strip. Something weird happens. I need a third call, Mr. Hall. That counts. Out of nowhere, electrons start shooting off. Question to you, what is an electron? Uh, the, the it's a negative charge. 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 Part. Subatomic. Oh, negative charge, subatomic uh, part. Right? I scream at them, bro. How in the world? Can a wave interfere with the part? Uh, well, you see, Mr. Hall. The wave shake it, and it, it went loose. Well, you see, Mr. Hall, that means it isn't a wave. Well, don't that you see those particle. little dots forming, Mr. Hall? Well, guess what particles look like? Little dots. Okay. Hey, Mr. Hall, just say the word, and I will make sure they never scream again. Mr. Hall, if you if you give us permission, I will hey, teach them hey, a lesson. Mason, watch what you say. We will not say some outlandish. <laughs> we will teach them a lesson. We'll teach them a lesson. Hey, hey. In math. In in, in uh, yeah, leave them alone. Hey, I I love it. Okay. I love the excitement happening over there. Us. Oh, well, they're trying to outdo us, though. You know, this camera is really nerfing us. Like we would. <laughs> Listen, they, <laughs> they know they can't outdo us. You. That that yeah. camera's there not for the videos, but to stop us from being. So here's so here's where you're gonna get mad, and here's where you're gonna get upset, and you're gonna look and say, "That's all it took." Pause the video, Mr. Hall. No. What do you think Albert Einstein had to say here? 
Are you going to see why he was shocked he got his Nobel Prize for this? Because they didn't know. I thought the Nobel, never mind. Because he's going to say, um, it's because it. He probably said, I don't know. I don't know. It's because light doesn't react, but UV rays do. Genius. Huh? He Waves interference interference. No, he just interfered, but... <laughs> Waves interfere with... with out. Waves. Yes. Particles. Interfere. With. Particles. Did he... Like, this is not Nobel Prize worthy. I could learn this. The electron I somebody right now. is a Whoever you part are, of stank. I'm sorry, bro. Whoever you are. So, clearly. Oh my goodness, this is the dumbest reasoning ever. This is circular reasoning. Light. I don't know. I don't think that's what circular reasoning means. Is a particle. He said, waves interferes with waves. So if waves interfere with that particle, that means it has to be a particle too. That is just so bland. There's no flavor. So clearly the light is a particle. Too bad he's right. Right. What if he's wrong? But the he's not. The, but the light doesn't reflect. It can be tested and proved. Can we go to heaven and it say big bad disproved? But I thought the light didn't. Just wait. I thought and the silly. light didn't release the electrons. I thought it was only the UV rays. Because rate. there's light particles too. What? Gangsta. Oh, it's, there's light particles in the This is so gangster. No, what do you mean? So he looked so and he reasoned out that particles it's react with particles, it's waves it's react with waves. It's waves. It's that means the electron is clearly a subatomic particle, which means light has to be a particle, right? Well, and you know what people had to say? Yes. People looked at him and went, yes. Yo, Albert, dog. Oh. My pal, Hello. man, the, you you got messed up. We clearly know and have proof that light is wave. We know this. Light is both. There's no changing it. So you know what he said? My dog, you're right. Oh, I'm paraphrasing. <laughs> Might that? have something mixed up in the translation. Pretty sure he said, my dog. Look, we know that's what he said in our part. I was there, in fact. I was the man that said all of that. Okay, so we know. We so know. here's we where know. Albert Einstein gets real big deal, big idea famous. Is this Taking the photoelectric effect into effect. And then thought. He states wave particle duality. Oh my god. These scientists just making things up. But you things aren't the light. Wave particle duality states that electro magnetic. Radiation is a wave and a particle. Is it just. Never mind, don't be So is it just radiation that's a part of it? All electromagnetic radiation. Oh, okay. Radio waves, microwaves, infrared, visible light. UV, X-rays, all of it. Okay. But it, you just said it doesn't work with light what? up there because you said it didn't work with red, blue. Ah. You see? Here's the key to this with the photoelectric effect. The photoelectric effect will take place, but it takes a certain amount of energy within the wave. Straight up. Which in other words has to have a certain wavelength. So when you look at the 
electromagnetic spectrum, look what happens as we go right to left. We increase wavelengths and we're also increasing energy. So, as we keep going, red light doesn't do it. Blue light doesn't do it, but UV does, straight up. What would happen if I decided to take that piece of metal and shine x-rays on it? Uh-uh. I guess it would still go. The electrons will pop off. Why? They have enough energy. Yeah. Uh, oh, What's a photon? Is that all that is? A quantum of energy with no mass. There's no mass here, but it has energy. It's literally energy traveling with it. Is well tension duly duly a That now makes sense, Mr. Roll. You're welcome. It has nothing to do with intensity. And this is the key you got to get. The intensity of the light doesn't matter. The type matters. So intensity, no matter. It is all about the type. Intensity, no matter if it's all about the type, you have to reach a certain amount of energy to it. Yeah, you're so when you break it down and you look at it, here's what takes place. It's all about how much energy is there. Once you reach that amount of energy, then you're there. So, have you ever seen someone put metal in a microwave and you see sparks fly? Yeah. Do uh, you know what you're witnessing? Not really. The photoelectric effect. It's knocking electrons off. That's why you get all the sparks. Are you saying that if I perform this experiment, I could like cause a fire in the school? I'm saying if you perform this experiment, first off, whoever microwave you use is probably going to be ticked off. Secondly, not really going to be ticked off. You're going to be in big trouble if you do it at school. Don't worry, I'll bring my phone oh. back. Oh. My ball will just there. What's wrong? Why is it? Why is it? Oh, that's not, that's not the same thing. It's not even remotely. Yeah, I'll go. I'll get one. You really? know, it's so cool Jeez. that you did that to me. Because as soon as you did it, I'm like, oh, she gets the big idea, she gets it. <laughs> and you're like, oh. I get home, I have a taco. Grilled cheese burrito. Yeah, this, this is what all. Like you know how, uh, like you said, whenever you put microwave on, like microwave a fork, it, it blows up. Or like you know, not exactly, but like, like I touched a fork to my filling in my tooth, and it hurt. Is that like the same thing? Um. Is it close? No, that's called a nerve. <laughs> okay. I'm going to do this because the next thing I want to get to is a big idea. I don't want to get ahead. I kind of ran on the anchor, Jordan Elfleek. All right, so yesterday we talked about electromagnetic radiation, and we know that electromagnetic radiation is both what and what. I'm looking at the Electromagnetic radiation is both what and what? A wave and a particle. A wave and a particle, and how do we know this? Because, uh, uh, photoelectric effect. Photoelectric effect, effect proves what? It, it was yeah, a particle. It's a so, particle. How did the photoelectric effect prove that it's a particle? Because, because only, only particles. Me first. No. You get rays on the metal. Um, they started aggravating the electrons, which is a particle. Waves can only interfere with waves and particles can only interfere with particles, therefore, the UV ray must be a particle. First of all, I'm going to say that I'm older than her, so I should have gone first. No. Particles can only before age, Grandpa. Thirdly, I want to say that <laughs> I'm the youngest, and the youngest brains have the strongest <laughs> Alright, anyway, so. He's older than me. Hitting up what we said, you guys are spot on. So waves interfere with waves, particles interfere with particles. So in this case, what we had was a piece of metal having 
electromagnetic radiation sent on it. And then what happens is, is we've seen electrons popping off. Now, here's the key. This just doesn't happen for UV, okay? I used UV rays as an example. It depends on the metal. Certain metals have to have different types of electromagnetic radiation for it to happen. So it doesn't mean that you can go home and you can take a piece of aluminum foil and lay in your tanning bed and turn it on and watch electrons pop off and go, Ha! Ah, Mr. Hall's a liar! He's got no idea what he's talking about! Can you even see electrons pop off? I imagine. Yeah, you can actually. You can? Yeah, you because you get to see the effect of it. Can you what? see it with the naked eye? Uh, yeah, 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 just uh, go to a friend's house, put a piece of metal in the microwave, hit start, and the light show you see, is the electrons going crazy. Why? <laughs> <laughs> and it'd be great just look at Chris and be like, Tanner threw a piece of metal in the microwave. Do you believe that? Like, I told him not to do it. Do you know how many times he's almost set his house on fire with his microwave? She would believe me. <laughs> Oh, that's hilarious. All right, anyway, so guys, tomorrow we're going to all meet at Tanner's house. Hey, Apparently we can get away with it. I never agreed to this. My cats are scared of new people. And <laughs> that's okay. You love so. me, I promise. I'm really good hey, with Hey, Mr. Hall, yeah. there's school Monday, right? Unfortunately. Yeah. So I won't, I won't be here, I must warn you. When's our but test? I'm getting my braces off, Jesus. so it's for a good Great. cause. Will the test be before this, like, the nine weeks? Thank you. I did it all my life. Can I go to the office? See, my biggest fear up until this point was that there would be like a zombie apocalypse or like a, a, a all right. nuclear apocalypse that I never did. So off. then the second one, that's the big one we talked about. The, the Albert Einstein, the wave particle duality. Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Also, also known in German as. Right, hold on. I got a friend that he is, his wife is in labor. Yeah. Poor guy. I've been where he is. New dad, new guy. Miss Tully Rocks. Yeah. Is it difficult to give birth? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. I assume that. I have experience. Hey, I didn't go through it, but I watched my wife go through it, and I'm like, I'm happy we didn't eat the fruit first. The last time I did that, I was back in 1905. All right, so, second one we talked about is what proves light and electromagnetic radiation as a wave. Now, before I get to that, I want to stress to you, it's not UV rays here, okay? Don't fall into that trap. It's just a specific type of electromagnetic radiation, okay? So, with the photoelectric effect, the metal depends. It depends on the type of electromagnetic radiation. It doesn't even matter about the intensity. It's the type. So, the second one we talked about was what proved electromagnetic radiation as a wave was what experiment? Double slit. Double slit experiment. Double slit experiment proved it how? Um, the light source and the wall. What's on the back wall? Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it was another thing. A very interference pattern. Interference pattern. <laughs> Yeah, Kenzie interference pattern, that's right. There was, a, there was a thing there, right? And in that wall in front of the light source, two holes were there. And they found that um, light was able to come through from holes and they so formed actual waves and those waves intersected in areas and they could see this with the interference pattern. So what you're seeing is that interference pattern on the back wall. That is a characteristic of waves. If these were particles, they would just make two bands because they would just shoot them straight through and hit the back wall at the same spot. But that's what you're dealing with. Interference pattern are specific for waves. Which brings me to a very exciting day. Whenever you look at wave particle duality, there's something 
that gets noticed. I asked you a question as to how color works. Right? Mm -hmm. Oh, why? Can do it again. Absolutely. Well, at least we have a Because today, I got to take you from what you know at the biology level and bring you into the chemistry level. Hey, yo, Rose, you got to hit the power button over there on that, like, view board. You just got to hit, no, not the camera, but <laughs> the view board. Yeah, just, just click the button. It'll go off. There you go. Wow. What color folder? Green. Green. What color? Green. Green. No. <laughs> color <laughs> folder. Red. Red. You know what the bad thing is? If somebody's colorblind, it looks the same. <laughs> green, green color line is most common. First chemistry in eighth grade, you should get on that, Mr. Hall. <laughs> <laughs> Look how behind you are. I think you, you have <laughs> some labs and interest slips you need to put in action. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Exposed. What color? Green. green. So what color? Green. 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 Red. 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 Oh, green. Yeah. Oh. Here's the point. <laughs> With the lights off, what do you see? Nothing. You don't see nothing. Can I, can I do nothing. This? Hitting it. What's actually taking place here? Go beyond the level which I have you at. So I explained it to you guys that light is coming from the light source. Call those light bulbs. These are actually LEDs. The light, white light, gets emitted from it, comes down, hits the folder. Once it hits the green folder, what happens? I the see green the green folder absorb some of it, and the stuff that's not absorbed bounces back towards us. So it absorbs eyeballs. all colors, but what? Green. Green. So green comes back to us. Uh, so, what's happening here is more in depth than this. What happens is there's something that we look at in the chemistry world. Have you ever seen a Bohr's Mall? The hominum? If you haven't, you don't do that. A Bohr's Mall? Yes, you have. Repeat what? I, I have, but you definitely have. The, gre the, gross, the ground slayers. State. There's something known as the ground state. When we talk about the ground state, this is when all electrons are at the normal level they should. Isn't that subject, subjective, though? Should we, should Actually, no. Uh, Alright, so I got the nucleus, and then the nucleus is the positive charge, it's the proton. Then from there, we actually have energy levels. Now listen to me. Mr. Hall is foreshadowing for something to come. Okay? So don't you go freaking out on me. I'm already shaking. I you should. Just, it's chemistry. I can't stop myself. I just poop. Bro, bro. Damn. It's done so, we get a napkin. so the first circle is the first energy level. N stands for energy level. And the second circle is the second energy level. This can keep going on and on and on and on, on. But I just need the first two for an example. So what happens is <clears throat> we have an electron here in the first energy level. Now the really cool thing with it is, is every energy level is like, you guys watch French Pop? Yeah. yeah. If, if I looked at you and I said salty spittoon, what would you say? Say again? Salty spittoon? Let me... I was my sister. Enough enough for that. I, need, I need to go Weenie Hunt Jr. Yeah. Weenie Hunt Jr. Super okay. Weenie. Forget Weenie Hunt Jr. We're going to the salty spittoon. How are you going to get into the salty spittoon? You got to get the, you got to get the entry pass. You're going to get an entry pass? Okay, he clearly hasn't watched it. I watched it. I just 
Wait, Mr. I have a question. I was you, actually. I've heard, you know, I don't know who this is, but I've heard that the Boris model is the most accurate representation of it. Absolutely is not the most accurate representation, but this is the one we're starting with. But guess what we're going to go after this? The, most accurate. the quantum model. I don't like guess it. what happens at the quantum model? It is more You're late! Who is that? Hey! Hey! This is the first so time we go to quantum model. Quantum model is actually the correct model, but it's really freaky and weird. Okay. That's I what makes this the, one of the hardest units I've seen. I actually, I wasn't trying to that I actually heard about another. No, it's very exciting that you knew yeah. that. Wow. I'm so excited to hear that you knew that. Thank you. Let's go. Thank you. Anyway, the first energy level. So if you're going to get them to the salty platoon. You just can't walk into the softies. You gotta get an entry pass. You gotta fight Larry yeah. the Lobster. You gotta see you gotta how tough you are. You gotta see how tough you are. That's what I mean. I'm talking. Yes. You gotta be tough. So it's like the first energy level is like Weenie Hut Jr. They let anybody in that place. So it's like, you know. Two joules of energy will get you into the first, the first energy level. I mean, it's the Weenie Hut Jr. It's practically, hey, I exist. I'm here. It's exciting, right? I think they got good food, though. Weenie Hut Jr.? Yeah. All right. Never been. Oh, super weird. Oh, you're <laughs> a tough guy. I spend my time at the Southeast with dude. Oh, I want to see you <laughs> so here's what happens. I think you should drink that specific coffee every morning, Mr. Hall. That specific coffee. So the second energy level, second energy level is the softest platoon. And you just don't get into the softest platoon. I'm talking, you gotta have muscles on your muscles. I'm talking, you gotta have muscles on your eyeballs. I'm talking when you walk up, they look at you and say, what did you have for breakfast? And you go, a bowl of nails. And they go, well, you ain't getting in for that without any milk. Oh, excuse me, sir, go right in there. It takes like 14 joules of energy to get in that second energy level. Wow, Holy moly, that's a lot. Now, here's the cool thing, what takes place? I don't know. This is what's happening and how we actually see color. Light radiates out, hits the atom. What is light? Electromagnetic radiation. Yeah. What is electromagnetic radiation? It has particles. What are the particles of electromagnetic radiation called? The photon. What's those photons going to do? They're going to go in my they're eyes. Be bright. What's a photon? It's going to be it's a, bright, a bright particle. They're a particle. Really bright they're particle. They're defying it. What's a no photon? No mass. What's a photon? I know it has no mass. No mass. Bright, probably. A quantum of energy with no mass. A quantum of energy. Quantum. 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 When you got a quantum of energy, guess what you got? Quantum. Mass. You got some energy. Yes. There's no mass. Yes. What's going to happen to it? I don't know. I'll tell you exactly what's going to happen to it. I never use this orange marker. Let me use it now. We have light. What? I can see. And light comes in. What's light? Photon. Oh, What's no. photons? Quantums of energy with no mass. So we got energy coming in. The energy comes in and hits the electron. Guess what happens? It went Super Saiyan. Oh, what? Now the electron is no longer here. The electron. Put it back. <laughs> comes up to the second energy level. What? He's a moving. Finally made another weenie hut. Once it does this, it no longer is in the ground state. At this point, 
it moves over. Let me draw another diagram. Does it just get bullied out of its spot? Oh no. It gets upgraded. Remember, it's getting rid of the salt. It's upgraded. But now what happens is we have the electron in the second energy level. Here's the cool part. It still takes two joules of energy to be in the first energy level, and it's 14 joules of energy to be in the second energy level. But there's a name for this. It's probably what everybody runs around the school saying about Mr. Hall in the morning. The devil. They say <laughs> evil. I thought those rumors were dead. I'll go home and cry myself to sleep now. <laughs> Yeah. Finds themselves in an excited state. They need to calm themselves down. An excited state <laughs> is when the electrons <laughs> goes to a higher energy level. Holy smokes, man. Do, do you get it yet? Yes. Have you bought it? Yes. I don't think you have. You, you ain't got it yet. I have it. Well, now, Mr. Hall, make sure you get this. You're going to beat it up to us. Mr. Hall wants to show me. <laughs> what? No. Oh. Uh, the floor? First energy level. Mm -hmm. The floor is not <laughs> Second energy level. Third energy level. Don't even think about don't it. Even, don't even do it. You do it. Fourth energy level. Oh my God. Can we get this guy out of here? Get this uh -oh. on camera. <laughs> so, question you. If do Mr. It. Hall jump the energy levels. Has only enough energy to. Do that. Can I get into the second energy level? Absolutely. Mm -hmm. okay, I know what you're all thinking right now. China will be fine. Okay? Let's stay strong. <laughs> so I got. If I got enough energy to get me here, wait a minute. Sorry, I heard a key and I thought the whole staff is the principal coming. That ain't gonna be good if she sees me on my desk. <laughs> so I, I think it differs. What happens? What if I can get to here? Whoa. Holy cow. You get to there. Man, I get a little excited, you know? Ooh. There's a little life in here. Yeah, baby! I'll tell you what! It's exciting, right? Yes. Man! Preach for the start. I'm excited. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> but what happens if I can go here? Holy moly. Please don't fall. That's not my goal. If I do fall, somebody please go get married. She's in Miss Stafford's room. Somebody call 911. Somebody make sure I'm still alive. He falls in a chemistry <laughs> test next week. Oh my goodness. Please don't fall. That's what I think. Ted, if he falls, you go get him this one. Okay. Aiden, you go get him this one. I'll take him to I'll call 911, Sydney, you go check on him. Can we not do a code silver, though? Like, just somebody send my classes somewhere. Press the okay? red button. Because a code falls. silver shuts the whole school down. It drives me insane. Anyway. There we go. Jump! Wait, I gotta pray. Lord, please. <laughs> give it up. Give this desk the strength. <laughs> a thousand steel rods. Eli crossed himself again. <laughs> oh! Oh my god. Ooh. He's doing it! He's doing it! Ooh. I gotta be honest, I thought I was going down for a second. <laughs> I don't know why. Next time, I'm not doing this. Can he make it to the next step? Oh my god. Oh my god. This is. Alright! <laughs> what energy level am I at? Be the camera One million. <laughs> One million! I'm at the third energy level, right? What did it take for me to get here? A lot of energy. Talk to me! Energy! It took energy! Energy! Right? <laughs> it's great! You should give it a shot! Not really, stay seated. Or you can stand, but don't climb on the desk. You got to climb. 
But it tags Mr. you, Club. right? Yeah! Damn. Lord, my desk is a mess. Please do not let me break anything. I don't want to zoom in. <laughs> only got 75 minutes on this, Mr. Hall. You need to charge it. I'm going to give you that. Okay, here we go. Oh, it smokes, man. I'll tell you shout what. Shout out to Michaela. Shout out Michaela. Nice shot. Wow. Michaela, All right, here we go. I'm going for the fourth energy level. Go big or go home. One, oh. I only got enough energy to get my leg to here. Can I get to the fourth energy level? No. Oh. Why? It's not enough energy. Uh, but I want to. You can't. Trust Why? You don't have enough energy. Why? Because you don't. Hey, <laughs> but if I got some more energy. We can go. Anything's possible, possible lose or believe. What are you doing? I'll, uh, I'll get this out of the way for you. <laughs> People are going to watch this video and be like, my gosh, man. I'm drunk watching this. I'm actually always if the I cameraman. If I can go to the fourth energy! Ah! Holy smokes! <laughs> the crowd goes wild. Climb up in there, Mr. Hey, there Hall. Oh, my right. God. Mr. Hall, climb up in there. That'll be the fifth. If I go up in there, I'm coming back down. <laughs> I teach physics. You're not getting that one on me. You still got your quiz on Tuesday. Talk to me. You did it. I'm here, right? Hooray! What did you get here? Steps. Oh, tons of energy, right? Yes. Took me tons of energy. How do you get back down? Stuff. I'm a fat guy. There's Mason's phone. It's phones. hard getting this much mass up here. Mason has two phones. What are you doing? <laughs> oh. Ooh. Oh god, this is dangerous. Now, here comes the real question. Do I want to stay up here? Yeah. Yes. Nah. No. Your head's almost... No. Like I said, I'm a fat guy. Absolutely not. Fat guy and big falls don't mix. Matter of fact, fat guy and small falls don't mix either. Y'all seen the video of that one? Yeah. Uh -huh. That's okay, you can laugh at it. You know? If I fall right now, though, don't this lie. Fun. Okay, remember, who's going to get married? I am. Uh, okay, and please don't take the camera with you. He's I won't. The I'll go the get it. I'll save him. Nice. Okay. Remember. <laughs> I must no coats So here comes the thing. What's going to happen here, Joe? What? You're not on you thought any everybody would just don't jump. <laughs> You're not on any energy level anymore. You're rogue. Woo! Woo! Do it! Here we go! One, two, two <laughs> three! Flip. Are you guys seeing this? Whoa. Kitty sticks the load, dude. Wasn't that awesome? No, what energy level am I at now? None. A billion. One. Number one. Well, you were at a billion. Where did I start? You're at ground state. So. Alright, bye, camera. <laughs> you're telling me that I. I'll leave you how I left you. Go back from the excited state to the ground state. Put it this yeah. way a little. This is so yeah. sad. What took me to get to the higher energy level? Energy. It took energy, right? So here's the million dollar question for you. It takes energy to get here. So 14 joules of energy. I have 14 joules of energy in second energy level. Can I go back to the first energy level if I have 14 joules? Oh, yeah. Wait, no, you're going to have to lose energy somewhere. I have to lose energy? Yeah. Interesting. So, for me to go down, I have to lose energy. So, you're telling me energy has to come off? Yes. yes. That's kind of helpful. Hey, somebody help me out for a second. What's a perfect example of a quantum of energy but no mass that I could just freely lose? A photon! A photon! Yeah! God. Oh, that was violent. We get a photon coming out of here, right? Yes. Yes. So we see photon! Yes. Yes. Hooray! So the photons come off, and guess what we see? Hmm. Energy go down. Lights on, what color? Green. Lights off, what color? Green. <laughs> you can't see it. Well, I know it's green. I want to deal with you later. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. You don't know until I turn the light on. Okay, I'll... Then you collapse the superposition stick. Yeah. I know about the box and the cat. <laughs> Photons get released. You 
We see color. Now, is this always what's going to happen? Are we always going to see color? No. In some cases, some things get released off that don't fall in the visible light spectrum. But the majority of the one that we deal with are. So the reason we see color is because photons are just constantly being released. Yeah, because photons are constantly going in, right. exciting electrons. The electrons will go back to the ground state, so when they go back to the ground state, they have to release the energy and give us so high energy in this room. I know, right? Everybody's going to be like, holy smokes, what did he have to do today? Mr. Hall has a perfect example of this that you're going to like and want to see. Come back here. Hey, you are not leaving with it a lot of things. You all Whoa. have seen it before without actually knowing you're seeing it. I love lasers. This, for those of you that are curious, is called cathode tube. Cathode tube. I thought I was waking up. Is this all been a dream? Yeah. Just hoping to turn off the light. Nobody touch anything. Very dangerous. Mason, stop touching. Here we go. You ready? Yeah. Tell me if you've ever seen it all the way. I can't see. Wait, okay, yeah, I think I've seen it before. What are these called? I have no idea, but I know it exists. Those look like electrons. We, we use these, and we can put them in different shapes, the bulbs in different shapes, to spell out different things. It's not really these. Laser. Lasers. Neon lights. Absolutely. You heard of those? Mm -hmm. you know, this actually is neon in here. So what's happening is this, in this glass tube, there is neon trapped. So I'm sitting an electrical current through. That's what the electrical current's doing. It's exciting. Yeah, you can get it. I don't care. It's exciting the electrons. So what happens? I turn the power off. Where are the electrons at? Probably scared. Don't open the door! That's do shut the door. Oh, the light's gone. I'm sorry. Well, great. Why? Uh, We're talking about ground and excited states. It's very exciting stuff. Like it's awesome. Ground state, excited state. Ooh. Ground state, excited state. Ooh. SOS. Do you want to donate anything for the staff If you would like to donate anything. I got anything no cash. Towards staff donation towards bingo. Uh, Go to my website. I'll probably have to say no with the toddler and may have to replace a wheel bearing on the Jeep. Yeah, you're fine. Money, yeah, money's fine. tight. But I not want to check with everybody. Got money's you. tight. Welcome. Okay. Um, All right, anyway, talk with me. We're at the ground state, right? Yes. While we have ground state, I'm not sending anything through, right? No. What's going? I flipped the light switch on. <laughs> now I'm sending electrical current. What's the electrical current doing? Yo. Yo, check this out. Releasing photons. Let's go through the whole thing. It's Eli. The electrical current's coming through to the neon. The electricity is exciting the electrons inside of neon, but neon does not, it's yeah, electrons don't want to stay in excited music. state. So it comes mm -hmm. back to a ground state. When it does that, it comes back to the ground state, we see the pretty light. Okay? And what exactly would happen if you touched that? If it stayed on here for a long time, it would hurt your finger. Right, right now it's fine. But it does get hot. Oh. What if you just, is that pure neon? Yep. Don't the ECU kids have to go? Yeah, we don't want them though. Eli probably should go. No. Okay. She's going to be online today. She's just not going to be in class. Here's a fancy one. I actually did a lab in physics on this. It was not fun. Do we need to come back in here? Ooh. Nah, you don't need to. We'll be picking up here it looks tomorrow. I got I got an camera. idea of something I want to try, but I got to talk to somebody before I do it. So we got electrical current running through. This is hydrogen. Ooh. See the difference between them? Yes. You're seeing the difference for a reason. So now this is almost to give you something. 
You will return these to me. Are you giving me, are you giving me something super dangerous, Mr. Hall? No. Oh. Take one passing around. You can set the camera down for this. Okay. I don't know where uh... All right, what I want you to do, there's two ends to this. One is an eyepiece and one is a slit. What you're going to do is you're going to take, look through the eyepiece, and you're going to aim the slit at the light. That's cool. Now, what will happen is you can look out the corner of it and you can see different bands of color. What this is doing is doing something very special. It's taking the light and breaking it apart. You're not going to be able to see it like that. What this is doing is it's taking the light coming from hydrogen, it's going through the prism within the tube, and it breaks it apart. Why are you using two? I can see further. Oh my God. So what happens is it's breaking apart. I always wondered this. But nobody could ever explain it until I got to college. Have you ever wondered how people can look at you and tell you what a planet is made of and they've never been there? No, just me? No, like, yeah. I mean, this I'm is how they're doing it. They literally are taking the light from the planet and they get to break the light apart, examine that light. And what you're seeing, that's for hydrogen. <gasps> Keep your two. I was seeing things. Ooh, I haven't got warm. Ooh, that's, that's warm. Holy smokes, that's warm. Help me, Jesus. I'm immune to stuff like that. I work at McDonald's. You work at McDonald's? Yeah. Here, Here it is. I think this one's mercury. Holy, that's a lot more light. No, it's in helium, sorry. I was about to say, I thought I grabbed mercury, but it's helium. Do you see how the bands are different with this one? Yeah, I see so well. With These have a very special name. They're called light emission spectrums. Light emission spectrums are like fingerprints for elements. So what's happening is you're taking the light, breaking the light apart, and it's giving you certain bands. Now, what I gave you is the cheapest tool you can use to see these bands. They're actually very expensive tools. I used one at Marshall that one, just one of them, would cost $875, and that's when I first got hired here. So I guarantee you're probably looking at $1,200, $1,300 for one tool now. I can actually take the light and you can actually do calculations and measurements off of it and it'll tell you the energy levels that you're looking at. But these are what I want you to get from this. Here's how we're actually determining what are on planets. So if they look at you and say, well it's mostly composed of hydrogen, how in the world do they knew that? They took the light from it and they examined it. Cool? Yes. If anything, you guys see pretty lights. This is cool. Okay. Here is the box for the tubes to go back in. I'm going to turn the lights back on. Can you say there's a top of one? Watch your eyes, everybody. Thank you. We're almost done. It's been a long journey together. Any last final words to the camera? Um, yeah. Um, Getting interviews? Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. Oops. Goodbye, camera. I'll miss you. Mr. Hall, what kind of experiment did you have going on here? Uh, I was showing them that water would be with an electrical current next to me. So, this is what we're saying. Ground state. I send the electrical current through. It goes to the excited state. But once it gets to the excited state, what happens from there? Excited state, phew, drops back to the ground, okay? 
you guys doing okay? Well, I'm like really excited about this, man. I just feel like all y'all just took my quill. I mean, it just hit me. Lights. It was the lights. <laughs> Any questions? Uh, so, whenever, like, the light is on,